Uh, if you consider being the bad guy and just doing the most powerful deck right now, it'll still be new to you. I am okay with that in theory. I don't know what the most powerful deck right now is, though. It's just, it's just these whelps taking bats with each other all night, man. Oh, yes! Dragon affinity! Let's freaking go! It's maybe not disastrous. Oh, just kidding. It's... It's really bad. Not a bad board we built, really. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. I am okay with that in theory. I don't know what the most powerful deck right now is, though. So <laughs> if we stumble into it, if it's Dragon Druid at least, then sure. Uh, you know, that could be a thing we do. What do people run? Um, probably just, uh, well, Druidic teaching kind of makes sense to me. Survivability and card draw. Do you need card draw on a dragon deck though? Maybe. A lot of people run Adara. Seems like the best still, right? Seems really good. Now, did Reno get banned? Did Reno get banned? Reno got banned, right? I mean, Reno's pretty hard in duels anyway. No, he didn't get banned. What got banned? I thought he got banned. Do we run Reno? It does tend to break. Like, we've done it with Zephyrus before. We know it can break, but at least for the first few games, surely that's a pretty strong option, right? Bro, these cards just seem good, don't they? Like, all of these cards seem so good. Surely people are running Reno, right? But do we want to preserve expansion density? Like, this is Dark Moon randomly, and this is Kobolds randomly. I mean, I guess Descent of Dragons is going to be a pretty good expansion, too. If we want to try to preserve that, like, we could just stick to Descent of Dragons. Uh... Holy Spore seems decent in a ramp deck because he's pretty big. Oh yeah, Descent of Dragons. Oh, that's right. They combined buckets. I totally forgot about that. They added buckets together, didn't they? Because they basically... Oh, it was the Adventure Buckets. That's what it was, right? The Adventures now have a uh, an expansion a, a, a attachment. That's probably because the Adventures were just too easy to get the same cards. Like Discard Warlock just always got Silver War Golems and stuff. So I'm sure that's why. I mean, I guess I'm always fine with Nourish. What about like an Innervate? I always feel like we fall too far behind in tempo when I play duels, like I get too greedy. Like an Innervate just helping me cheat out any card. I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna do it. And then anything else that's just really good in Priest? Shard of the Naru is pretty good in duels, for instance. Tradable. I don't know, we got late game value. I'm still worried a little bit about tempo. We're pretty expensive. Like we're just playing a lot of ramp and I don't have any life gain other than my hero power right now. Oh yeah, I don't have Phi. Am I actually... Yeah, I don't even own Phi yet. That's why. Yeah, that's actually life gain and a dragon. Per perfect. Uh, on that note, what am I missing from Priest? Was there anything I was missing from Priest? Uh, okay, this looks good. Let's just try this. Oh, Sunspot Dragon. So pretty good dragon, guys. Maybe that instead of Emerald Explorer. Yeah, I actually like that better. I like the, I like the life gain better. We don't have to be perfect. This seems like a slightly better way to do this, although they don't get cool priest cards, right? We get some pretty cool priest cards. Well, actually, what priest cards did we run? Murzond? <laughs> we ran very few priest cards. <laughs> I don't know, man. Shard? I just realized we're like basically all dragons. I mean, all druids. Uh, we got Murzond. I mean, Adara is a cool treasure, so that's worth something, right? That alone is, is kind of nice. Uh, we need ramp, though. No ramp right now. It's kind of brutal. We have Breath of Dreams and Dragon Tail. No, not Dragon Tail. Splish Splash Whelp for our early ramp. Nourish and Innervate as well for some rampy stuff. Hey, Take, thanks for the 45 months, man. Breath of Dreams. See, they hit the ramp on turn one. They're gods. We're bad at the game. They're really good at the game, so. It's hard to win. Oh, we hit it for turn three at least. Okay, that's, I mean, I'll take it. It helps us catch up a little. What I do feel behind. Hey guys, you gotta hide. Oh my God, dude. It, it was, oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's gonna be hard to win, but we'll do our best. We'll do our, oh, dude. Oh, I'm like literally just a card behind from them <laughs> every, every time. Dang it. I can go Nourish into Welp, into Ray Estraza already though. Like that's pretty insane. Or maybe Reno, I guess, if that feels better too, we need it. Um, we must 
So we're gonna have some Giga Ramp. Okay, they do have the Emerald Explorer, which we cut for the Dragon Golem. Is there already like a standardized list at all that people are messing with? I don't know. Do we Reno first? Probably to limit the board and then we can Ray Estraza. But if they have their own Reno, then I need to be careful because the nest can get Renoed. Um, so I don't know. Are people running Reno in the Druid? Dra what in the... G I've never seen this card in my life. Why don't we have this, guys? Why didn't you tell me to get the future emissary? Dude, that's insane! Why didn't we look at Caverns of Time cards more? That's actually crazy good. What the heck? Stay alert, my children. What the heck? I'm like terrified. Okay. Trade this boy. Adara is good. Yeah, we can actually use Adara first and then save Reno if they have their Ray Estraza, so that's good stuff. I don't know if they're running Reno for my Ray Estraza, though, or not. It's the thing. Uh, I've never seen this card in my life. Yeah. Uh, you and me both, I'll tell you. You and me both. That card seems insanely good, and we don't have it. Oh, man. Uh, didn't even think to, to look. I mean, I, I've seen the card. I reviewed every card in caverns of time i just don't remember them all you know i mean i would say this is a decent adara five for some life gain though too sounds pretty good i have three other dragons in hand for the dragon golem this could i guess bait this could bait removal which uh is what we're looking for maybe then Ray Estraza feels safe. Like if they play Reno here. Oh, actually does Ray Estraza feel safe in Reno? We'd have to wait a turn because there's no space for the nest. But anyway, you get the idea. Uh, also Murazond is something we can think about too. It doesn't really play Battle Cries, let's remember. So not good for Reno, but if they go for like a crazy board, like a Fi or something, then Murazond would get us that Fi for some extra life gain, which would be very nice. So we know they don't have Adara, thankfully. So hopefully between the Adara fatigue advantage and just like the removal advantage, we'd be okay here. We caught up on ramp thankfully to that nourish turn without falling too far behind on board. I mean, look, they're not slamming Arena, so that's good news. I think that's something we have to be happy about. Looks like they're thinking about trades and stuff. Uh... Going for discounts. I mean, can we just kill them? I mean, this is like lethal on board, right? Currently, I, I have potentially the Sunspot Dragon now to get lethal. It gains one armor, but it's got taunt. But Adara, Adara gets me some pretty nice cards here. Just hit for 16. This is two damage anytime I want it as well. Maybe it's just time to Reno and hit for two. They didn't seem to have a way to clear my board. Let's see, this is 16 and two is 18. That put me one off, but I can guarantee the Sunspot Dragon next turn. So if I just empty their board here and hit face, I think I set up a lethal minus any healing. It's a little premature if they do have the Reyes Raza, which we kind of assume they have, but I'm just gonna go for the win condition here. Um, I mean, I guess the Adara does the same thing though, doesn't it? Because I have the, well, no, because she shuffles it in, so I'm no longer guaranteed to get the, the Sunspot Dragon. No, I think this is fine. I think this is okay. A little worse against Ray Estraza, but I'm kind of banking that we'll be able to win the game anyway. Oh, bro! Ha! Even better, is that lethal now or one off, right? Yeah, what off. That's even better though, because now just hero power sets up lethal too. Cool. Would have been nice to hit this for some bonus life, but I think 23 is more than enough. So yeah, we can guarantee Sunspot for six, plus hero power is eight, as long as they don't heal seven or more. And they have to clear the board, of course. Nice. Let's go, dude. I felt like we got such a bad start to pull that back out. Let's go. Super excited. Uh Oh, yes. Dragon Affinity. Let's freaking go. Easy pick. Easy pick. Breath of Dreams and Twilight Whelp are very good. It's not a bad removal package and not a bad ramp package. 
I think the ramp becomes a little bit less valuable though since we got the discount on dragon affinity. Like, you know, it's still valuable obviously, but do I want to just stack the deck with more rant with more dragons now? This also has a little bit of value generation. I mean, Envoy of Lazul is pretty terrible, but Breath and Twilight are fine. True, this breaks Reno as well immediately thanks to the Nourish and Innervate. Breath of Dreams breaks it only once. We could we could just take... I, I don't hate mid, and it does protect the Reno and the Ray Estraza a lot longer. And I don't really love right, and I don't really love, love left. I don't feel like breaking the Reno just yet. Let's protect the Reno and the Ray Estraza for a couple more games as long as we can, you know? Because they're going to get drastically reduced value later, so we need to get some value out of them now. I mean, we could try to preserve them for a while, but it's going to be tough. If we, if we get cards we want, we're going to get cards that are going to break them, obviously, so. What? Elite. I was actually in a game the whole time? Oh, dude, that's not cool. Trixie, Trixie, stop. Uh, all right, Nest Matron's insane. I think we actually maybe keep Take to Disguise even. I'd like to get a little bit of ramp, but this is at least a decent curve. Make sure the Nest Matron hits. This actually I can play on three, can I? But I'd only be able to refresh three, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Still good tempo. This might just be better though, too, depending on what they have. Yeah, this is actually really good against Paladin sometimes. Uh, but they use that Aura card, which it doesn't really work against, right? Now this is good against Paladin boards too, though. That's pretty nice. If we coin a Nest Matron, we'll only be able to refresh two, which is even worse. Sunspot Dragon. Um, we just get the Spine Tail out and start hitting face. I really don't hate it, to be honest. Coin is certainly a good play later. But this seems like it's a tempo matchup. They do have some life gain. I think I'm just going to go for it. Let's just push. Since I don't have ramp in hand, I think I need to win on board. If I had ramp in hand, obviously we'd try to play more from behind. We still have an out here if we need to play from behind, if we need to shift. But just playing the game we have right now tells me to win the board, I think. Adara too, though. Jeez. All right. Estraza. Man, we did not hit the like curve follow up for this, you know. <laughs> I did not hit what I wanted. I mean, I guess looking at the deck, there's not that much curve follow up to be fair, but uh, man, we we missed it anyway. I have nothing good to do here. I mean, Dragon Golem's insane on six. I might just play the Sunspot Dragon as well. Let's take cheap dragons here, right? Something playable would be cool. Yeah, perfect. I love it. Um. Yeah. Yeah, this might give me an on-curve play. The body size matters a little. Uh, yeah, Primordial Drake is pretty good against these kinds of boards, I guess. This is a really annoying uh, Righteous Protector, I gotta say. This guy not getting to hit face at all so far. Just trading, trading, trading my life away. Oh, gross. The five one or the three three? It goes face? No, okay. <laughs> it definitely doesn't go face, right? There's no way. Uh is this nourish or just play a six six? Dude, nourish is kind of insane, right? I gotta nourish. There's no way we don't nourish. This hand is so fat. We gotta nourish. Uh I think we clear this too, don't we? It's like so bad, but I think we have to. I can just play Ray Estraza next turn, I think. It's gonna feel pretty safe. I don't expect any kind of like Reno type removal or anything in this matchup, so. We just need to start catching up value for value. And then we use Adara and Reno to hopefully win the game too, right? <clears throat> this is still active, like we said. That's good. Protecting our Reno cards. Really nice. Let's get this hit face for free. It's fine. Probably should trade this off, actually. I was going to play it, so I've been sitting on it. But now that I got a spare mana, I don't know. It's it, In hand, it has value for the Dragon Golem. But I don't know how long that's really going to matter. Is this just Reno and hit for 12? Maybe? Feels like it, doesn't it? Like, limiting their board really limits them, and then we just kind of kill them over two turns, maybe. 
yeah, it's definitely Reno and hit for 12. <laughs> and we have Adara as a backup plan too, so. I don't want to shovel these in yet though. Yeah, protecting the Reno cards here, it's going to go a really long way. Uh, these don't actually count as having died. So maybe we take the Twilight Guardians, which is free. Right. Well, looking for a stand -up? This is kind of gross. Reno and duels, it turns out, it's a little bit broken, man. I don't know. It's not like you only play one card and their whole game plan, right, is like going wide. So hopefully this is not like an Anachronos or something that kind of resolves our board. Uh Oh, dude, that's really sad. <laughs> I mean, that is really sad. Oh, dang. They could have just hero powered for the same result. Um, maybe they thought the spell would work anyway, right? I get it. I get it. But very sad. Yeah, man, protecting the Rito here, uh, definitely the right call. <laughs> I feel quite, quite vindicated about that decision. That was good. Reno actually kind of insane in duels. Um, yeah, I mean, ramp and card draw are both very good for us, right? So let's take my apocalypse. That's fine. Can we protect the Reno again? We can. Actually, all of these protect the Reno. Beyond Reaver is kind of cool. Single target removal, which we don't have. Flexible card here, kind of garbage. Operative is good, but the other two of these, I think, pretty much suck. Uh, these all kind of suck. So I guess we take Galakron's Dragons here. Yeah, these are fine. Rising Winds, I mean, I like drawing cards okay. Nothing wrong with Eagles. Envoy of Lazul is bad, but Aeon Reaver seems good. Kind of forgot this card existed. Did you guys see my, uh, tweet today? Cutest freaking tweet I've ever seen in my life. Regina is six months old today. She had her six months doctor checkup today. Uh, she is very big. She is in the 97th percentile for height and weight. She got her dad's size, not her mom's. She's my goofy best bud. Look at us being cute together. Look at her, she's so cute, I could die. Oh, she's so fun. I love having a baby. Yeah, six months, I know, it's crazy actually, crazy. Um, all right, yeah, maybe five. Two good dragons already? Eh. Maybe we dig for ramp instead. Yeah, I don't know. These are really good. Th these have definitely felt like they've powered this deck's mid game. Breath is amazing. Can we breath on one? Can play this on two? It's kind of insane. Yeah, I think I coined breath. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. They've got crystal gem. All right. Fi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tossed Fi back, got the ramp, and then got Fi anyway. It's perfect. So they get to your part one, which is pretty good for them, I'm sure. Uh, I can actually play both of these, right? Oh, no. I, well, with an Innervate, I can, yeah. Do I want to? Do I need to? I think we just wait. I think this is fine for now. We want this to actually refresh four. If you only have three, of course, it doesn't refresh four and the cost increases after I play the first one. So I would have to innervate to get out the second dragon, but I don't think we need it yet. Let's just chill for now. This seems totally fine as a, as a backup plan here. Uh, yeah. Let's not get too fancy, right? Go for tempo to get the fi out faster. Yeah, not the best. Still a good turn though. Ooh. Now yeah, let's wait till we can use it on our turn in a compelling way. Would actually be insane. We could get out like a uh, Ray Estraza next turn. We might try. We might try. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a mind apocalypse explosion. Whoa, Thorison makes me kind of nervous. What's that about? That seems uh, a little too spicy for my tastes. I'm scared, man. Yeah, I, I have a hand size problem now, right? So maybe we just Aeon Reaver for now. I mean, I could, I could innervate and then draw, try to hit a nut card here. Maybe we'll try. Yeah, sadly no nut cards, man. This could still hit a nut card. 
Rainstraza one time? Dragon Golem? I mean, that's kind of insane, but not... I got four? I mean, it's pretty insane, right? Let's do it. Oh, I miscounted. <laughs> I counted something wrong. I had five, I guess. I, I think I forgot to count the whelp. Let's count on this side, not the whelp. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Not not the race draws we were looking for, but pretty dang good. Um, like It forces them to react. They don't have a board clear here. Just forget it. That's the good news. They're single targeting something, which sometimes means no board clear. Which is nice. Well, they don't fully freeze my board. That would be annoying. Light bomb clears one card, but that's it. Uh, snowball fight. Wow. They are going to freeze mostly my whole board. Jeez. Another th What? Dude, am I going to get like OTK'd? What is happening? I am so scared. I am so scared. Now this, I actually don't want to draw a card here, so we're going to do this out of order. I actually don't know how much health I have. I might be fine anyway. No, I wasn't. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to go to 10, so I guess the hero power maybe was better on a card now that I think about it. Maybe maybe the dragon golem, because I think were we at 20? Yeah, this would have fully healed anyway, so I should have healed a, like a dragon. I mean, theoretically... Maybe I want them to die so I don't have a board space problem, but probably should heal the dragon. As long as I didn't draw off of it, it was fine. Go to 3-3 on a dragon. So, big board, still threatening lethal if I'm not dead. Um, I'm so scared. What What's about to happen? the coolest thing i've ever seen dude this is the cool i mean i'm not sure this is gonna win them the game but that is a cool freaking deck dude it's a hand buff like are they gonna do something to like kill me if i don't have a taunt i mean i can just play adara and hope that my taunts do enough i mean i don't even really have to adara i could probably like aeon reaver or i don't know i mean i think adara is fine just protect my taunts in it for nine here dude are high. I'm not dead, right? Am I dead, guys? I'm so nervous that I'm dead to like some charge minion or something. I don't know. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen, though. I'll tell you that. I don't even necessarily have to adore that, right? But I'm just going to. We have other removal and silence in hand. What happened, man? It's pretty good. I'm glad I'm not dead, though. Relieved to be alive. This will clear whatever this is, usually. Or, of course, Shard, Light Bomb, Ruin. We got a million ways to deal with stuff. So I'm not really worried about big minions, necessarily. Alright, single target will go Aeon Reaver. That's chill. Grime Street. Oh, yeah, sure. Chill. Uh, uh, maybe just heal. I don't know. This order's wrong. I could have got more buffs, but whatever. It's fine. You'll get over it. Uh, all right. This sets up lethal on board. Race draws are finally in hand. Uh, they didn't die at anything, so I'm a little bit less worried. I don't know what's in that ETC, but it's not like crazy discounted or anything. So hopefully it's all right. Uh oh. It's like bioluminescence or something. Life drinker. What is this deck, dude? Enemy spells cost five or more, bro. Bolner. Shoot. Eight. I don't think we kill them, right? think so i mean 
I think I'm just gonna Shadow Word Ruin. It just kind of feels terrible, right? Sort of weird. Bolner Ray Estraza. <laughs> I need to deal with this, I think. I, I'm a little bit nervous about this 8-8. Eight eight. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I mean, we may do it later, right? We may do it later, to be fair, but. I'm just gonna kind of tidy this up, man. I don't know. I'm like nervous, but I think they're kind of running out of steam. I'll have a better turn when there's not a low feb, right? So. <sighs> this seems so greedy, but it is kind of cool. <laughs> it's like board spaces. And... What? I haven't seen Shutterwalk yet in duels. Oh my God. Makes sense. Obviously now I see it. Oh, the low feb. Oh no, I need Reno. Oh my god, the cold storage. Oh no, I use the shadow word ruin and I can't use- Oh, I can't use light bomb, but I can sure as heck use Reno, baby. Let's go. God tier plays. Let's go. Oh, dude, misplay. <laughs> oh no, I could have attacked last. Oh no, misplay, dude. Not the dark moon statue. I guess raid leader too could do it. There's only one shutter walk now. It's not as bad. They do heal three, but surely we're fine, right? Even with Lothab, seven, nine. Actually, we're not fine currently. Uh. Oh, they don't care though. Nice. Okay. Woo. I think we want Draconic Dream, right? Because Dragon Ritual's got board size problems. We don't want that. Draconic Dream. I mean, it kind of also has board size problems, right? But but they're not dormant when they're when they're on board so they still have a lot of onboard value <sighs> cool dude i forgot this was a card it's the start of your turn deal it's like the bad doomsayer i recall yeah i mean it's 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 gonna be hard to draw enough portals to stay reno active right so we should just we should say screw reno and go here then because this is the best bucket i think this is a little awkward expensive Nourish is okay, but Katrina and, and, and Lore are bad, so yeah, this should be fine. So now Dream should be driving this deck's success, we hope. Um, you know, we have kind of our powerful win condition locked in now between these two, which is good. Surely our passives are just more synergistic than anybody else's at this stage. Yeah. Funky hand. Actually, Reno is currently active <laughs> until I play two dragons. Uh, Envoy of Lazul is is one of our only duplicate, right? So Reno is good to go for right now. It's kind of wild. Scroll is chill. Not too bad, usually. Unless we get one of the one in 10 games or just steals a game, you know? Rising winds will sit on no ramp. No ramp. 22 cards in deck. We're actually still not that big on deck size. I think there could be some late game scenarios where we potentially get Reno active again. But we'd have to grind pretty far, so I don't know if that's true. Hopefully we just overwhelm with good dragons early. You know, th these could get any dragon, right? So, you know, you play a dragon on two, you get a... Malagos on three or something, right? Not that Malagos is particularly synergistic with our deck, but you get the idea. Holy Mao is thinking a lot. Just a simple verse riff. Reno, dude, we can actually keep this Reno active. Uh, do we want to? I, I mean, maybe. If I just play one dragon until turn eight, like if I can ramp enough or avoid dragons, like just get by with rising winds. I mean, it's not bad. We get the cool hero powers. Might be worth it. And if we play a dragon and then draw a portal, we're also good, right? So we have like a little bit of a kind of buffer almost. Can I get the treasure? Coin and treasure are both really well-known entities here. Let's do it, man. Mm, probably this, right? Uh, 
I don't know though. I mean, it could be any of these. Job done. It's like a cleave hunter. Oh shoot. Should have known no one's gonna have defensive cards. What was I thinking? <laughs> like what? People to play defensive cards, bro. What are you thinking, Regis? You idiot. Whoa. I'm actually not very good at dealing with this sort of stuff. All right, so here's one dragon. Stay alert, my children. Stay it's gonna go for board, maybe. Although I don't have a turn five play. Let's see what we find. Maybe we just get the portal right. Oh, here's two dragons. So this turns off Reno if I go for it, until I find that portal anyway. But I also ramp into some good dragons sooner, and I ramp into light bomb sooner. Yeah, let's do it. It's fine. We'll get one of those portals soon or maybe just avoid them altogether. I don't want to stop playing the game plan just for the Reno in hand. Although good, again, not our only win condition right now. We try to win with portals. Serenite Tolvir. Is this like a taunt? Jormunger Excavate Warrior here. That's what we got going on. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. What was that? I missed it. <laughs> yeah, portals are good, basically, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We can actually always get the uh, Reno hero power. Wow, that's cool. Regardless of... Uh, we're almost dead, man. This is crazy. Uh, I mean, I think I have the light bomb. I'm kind of dying. The twin tyrant could be insane. Uh, Riot, Fools, Azerite, and Coin if I go for Murazond. I mean, the Murazond would clear one thing, but no, nah, let's just do this for now. Hopefully we're not dead. It's a much more aggressive deck than I expected. Um, Twin Tyrant could be good again, just to clear if they play only like one small thing. Yeah, that is one small thing. Okay, but we are almost dead. This, this in particular may be just lethal now. Oh, God. Uh, this just kills me on board. Reno is not active, sadly, because we are idiots and did not draw our dragon portal. Well, this is already coming back to haunt me, isn't it? I mean, I guess we can hope the weapon low rolls. I don't know if I have another choice. This only heals five, which is worse than clearing. Uh, Rising Winds, I could try to draw into a dragon, but they don't have the energy to play mana to play Reno. Uh, I guess we just hope they don't have lethal, huh? I don't see another choice. Like this has to whiff. This just has to whiff. It needs to be zero or one, basically. And no other face damage, of course, too. So just take a, take it out here. Come on, baby. I, try, I, try, I trust one time, one time that this will work. I know it will. I know it will. One time. Don't have a regular weapon. They're thinking about it here. What are they thinking about? Oh, they decide not to go for it. Interesting. Very interesting. So now I can play Murazon and it will summon this to give me life. Uh, it has rush, yeah. Very cool. Very, very cool. This is this is a lifesaver, man. Literally. Seven feels so much better. Okay. I don't know why I didn't go for it. I don't know. Heal with Innervate, you think? Mm, I'm gonna save it. I think seven's okay. It's close, you know? I, I don't think you're crazy. It is true that we like lose that hero power forever is one downside, I'll, I'll acknowledge that. We never get that hero power back. I'm hoping to use it in a more meaningful way, but that may not happen, so we'll see. Dude, what's a man gotta do to draw? A portal. 
I mean, this heals five. And it gets me a new hero power. I'm pretty much never getting the portals back anyway. I think I maybe just play Reno and heal five. <laughs> it feels really bad on tempo though. Um, like nourish for draw. I would want like taunts and stuff. Definitely worried about an Odin coming down on eight because that's suddenly six damage. I don't know, man, this is weird, but let's just heal five and get a good hero power. We want the armor gain hero power, okay? Armor gain hero power, please. Let's discover a spell hero power, which isn't bad. Serious throw away. Give me life. Ooh, that's good for them. They had a really small hand. All right. So we're alive to Odin, but we're not really in a very good spot. Aeon Reaver clears an Odin. Oh, they split the Astalor. Okay, that's also a lot of damage. We have kind of a one turn buffer for the big Astalor though. We could get a big enough board out of this, you know? That would be nice. Traps, wow. Sort of annoying, isn't it? Ooh. I need like uh sunspot dragon or phi. I mean phi is kind of weird. You don't really love throwing away the phi, but <sighs> Dream Portal finally. Let's go. Be a phi. Be a phi. This is now a good target for phi to hit. Oh lord. This is what I uh, this is what I went for. This is what I went for. I need some life gain here, man. Actually, fine. We can just hero power it for now. Oh, that's less fine. Uh, shoot, it's like a little too small for ruin. Uh, I can't quite reaver ruin and ping. Uh. Yeah, this is the same problem, right? Have anything to do here for three? Moonbeam doesn't clear that. Seven damage. I think I'm just in trouble, right? Buff and then ruin? Oh, buff and then ruin was good, actually. You're right. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm gonna say it by this portal, though. Easy. Almost. Yeah, buff and ruin was definitely the play. Uh, was that nine left? It's going to, oh! Oh! That could have been nice. Oh! Oh! Oh. Man. Destroy your card, for God's sake. I think they kill me with Odin here, right? I think it's just Odin lethal. Like, we're technically alive on board. But yeah, I think you're right. I think um, buff the 2 6 and then Odin was really nice. Or not Odin, I mean, uh, ruin. Alive at one? Oh no, I'm not. Slower, of course. That's seven to five. Yeah, I think that was the play. Did that leave me dead to Astalor too, though? Maybe not, because we would have had a four-four on board, and we would have been at uh, eight health. So I think that would have been alive to Astalor. We wouldn't have had the two. Well, I guess it depends on if they got the same portals. We might not have been easy, <laughs> easy pick, dude. Yes, we we have ramp, right? This is insane. Wish is actually nuts. Uh, two really good dragons. Pretty good dragon. Pretty bad. Let's go here. Two really good dragons. We're not worried about Reno anymore, so. I can actually just take good dragons. Uh, all right, yeah, this is... Uh, do we need this recovery or do we just look for faster ramp, I wonder? Maybe we just go for like mana cheat. Seems good. Dragtail's good. Drew the Flame's like, eh. Dragon Blood? What's this one? Oh, minions get buffed when dragons die. That's actually insane for Dragon Golem, dude. That's actually insane. Uh, yeah, let's rip, dude. Ramp like crazy here. We can go Matron into Flame? It's not bad. 
just get a really big board rolling to start pressuring i do kind of value um stuff more in some ways but maybe we go banker huh yeah actually that's better it's 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 like the oh bro i don't bro <laughs> that's the first time that's happened i don't have a dragon in hand <sighs> okay it's fine oh my god bro i about did the same <laughs> dude i about did the same thing <laughs> bro i swear i know i swear i'm look i'm learning he's learning he's getting so smart right before our eyes this is a teaching moment breath the dreams Okay. Ray Estraza next turn. Do we just go Bone Drake now or do we try to ramp even harder? The problem is with this ramp, it doesn't really take us anywhere. Like I still have Ray Estraza next turn anyway. She's not active though, right? I still have Envoy of Lazul and double portal. So I guess, I guess it's, it takes me to an Onyxia next turn, which is pretty good. Am I gonna need card draw though? Like hitting portals, is that just better? In some ways, I think it might be. This is a, this actually could hit a portal, but I still have two Drakes, two Lazuls. Yeah, it's just, we, we need to not focus on the, the Reno card so much anymore. They're pretty much impossible. So ramp into Onyxia is like kind of good. The only issue then is I'm out of card draw. Hero power draws a little for sure. We have some in the deck. All right, we'll do this, it's fine. Might get something cool off the opponent here too. Uh, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Let's take that. This is not off the opponent. It's not quick draw. It's off mine. Even better, really. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll probably just go on Xia here for body. Maybe my apocalypse to try to draw some uh, portals. The opponent doesn't have portals. I have taunt synergy guy is big very hard to kill very big emerald explorer also pretty big this does ramp the opponent which lets them catch up a little bit which then, then feels kind of bad i would say uh just over a spell shards no good shadow ruins decent here dream portals decent maybe we just do this Shadow ruin I mean, I have to, there's, there's only part of me that thinks this is going to be better later. But at the same time, I, I have to play the game. I don't know, uproot, baby. We're uprooting. <laughs> Rehydrate gone. Okay, sure. Not not too big of a loss for them, I'm sure. I'm sure they're not too stressed. See, rehydrate. I mean, uproot. Way better. I was going to die anyway, man. Really surprised they didn't clear the taunt there. I guess they're thinking a lot about defensive threat because they killed the five two. Now Murazond actually seems kind of insane. Um, Spine tail. We don't get to play the Emerald unless we go Mind Apocalypse, which does ramp them a little. I think we chill. I think it's just on Ixia for now. Kind of hate not reacting. Remember, this goes back to six as soon as I play Spine Tail, so I don't get to play both. Yeah, let's just go next year for now. It's fine. Five four is not ideal to leave up, but it's okay. Keep them on the back foot here a little bit. <laughs> oh, the wand. All right, I would say that's maybe a little early, although maybe not if it's backed up by Volcanic Lumberer. We're just gonna rip Marizon though. Swing this back even harder. Rising Winds is kind of a free bonus too. That's even more free bonus. Yeah, nice. This is what we talked about with Murazond, right? Hitting treasures is just so insane. So insane. Guys, I gotta be honest, by the way. I've been disappointed with Dream Portal so far. <laughs> we don't ever draw them, man. I guess maybe we haven't really gotten enough of them yet. It's part of it, but it's just so far, it's just been kind of meh. Kind of meh. So getting our own lumber is pretty cool. Ram commander is more value, yeah. <gasps> Dream portal, finally! Oh, that's a good portal too, let's go. 
Nine cards in hand. Okay, I'm gonna actually save this. We're like kind of close to lethal across taunts and stuff. I might actually just save this. You know, like this is a big old board. So just trading doesn't seem that valuable. Silence seems super valuable in a deck with a lot of taunts. They got endurance training. So assuming a fair number of taunts here. I take it back. Dream portal's insane. Rising winds again. Just looking for something here. Some kind of out. <sighs> Discounts don't seem that significant at this stage. That's pretty good. <clears throat> what did I say about the shard, boys? Boys and gals, what did we say? What did we say? Genius plays. I actually do like the way we're playing this deck, by the way. The portal coming in clutch there with the extra damage. Uh, I think we probably needed it too, right? I don't... We don't usually have a lot of direct damage in hand. Uh, Henchman is a free card. Ramp is good, but I don't know, man. At four mana, it seems kind of pricey, right? I mean, my hand sizes have been kind of big, but also that last game, they weren't that big. Let's take the freebie. <clears throat> Springwater, Shade Leaf, and Posse. Blech. Boom Pistol Bully. Whispers of Evil and Rising Winds. Mark of the Wild is like some damage. Solar is like... Uh, Solar is usually a great card, but I don't have any good treasures for it yet. Uh, I mean, Solar Wish. <laughs> Double fully heal your hero and get twice the board. Uh, I mean, a little bit of healing's kind of cool, a little bit of removal, but it's just so expensive. I just like that these cards are cheap, if nothing else. I think I'd take it here. It's just, that's not quite good enough. Boom Pistol Bully's kind of fun, but... It's hard to know when to time it in duels. Everybody just has so much different stuff. <clears throat> Man, I know it's like stuffy today. Uh, all right, yeah, let's take for dragons and ramp. Dragons being discounted, of course, is kind of like ramp. Oh my God, this hand, dude, <laughs> this hand. I actually don't have a dragon for the splish splash whelp, so I need to be careful, uh, unlike last game. This guy is not a dragon. Can I draw a dragon? Because it makes my life really nice if I can. Uh, not a dragon. Okay, we'll just coin the breath then, because we certainly have this dragon. It's fine. A little off, but it's okay. We can go take to the skies next turn if we don't hit the dragon. If we do, uh, splish splash hero power probably makes more sense, I think. Although it's all kind of, kind of free at that stage. Dude, everybody is just playing dragon druid. That's all we played against. <coughs> Buy is nice. Yeah, Marazon we know is really strong. Cool. Uh, yeah. Envoy of Azul could get us some really good cards, I guess, right? Oh, yeah, so they have Dragon Bone Ritual. So they're going to have hand buffs and, like, random leftover stuff on board. Which, I mean, the stuff on board is kind of annoying, to be honest. It's going to get... It's gonna get in the way a lot. Yeah, Envoy of Azul, everybody just has a million of these because of the Descent of Dragons, dude. They missed, I wonder what theirs was. I'll try to play mine and hit a cool dragon or something, right? Spine Tail is also really good though. Let's just do that instead. Uh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an, I'm an, never mind. You can't play both, bro. I'm an idiot. This is a fine backup plan. It's almost definitely not the writer. It's really between Winged Guardian and Dusk Breaker. I don't think Winged Guardian's that crazy because it is a Descent of Dragons Druid card. The stakes are high. So that's not actually that crazy. The thing is, I don't really need this necessarily. I probably do value a Dusk Breaker because of all the leftover Dragon Bone Ritual cards. Not that this guy's bad or anything, don't get me wrong, he's awesome. But I need this more. I think. So I'm gonna take the Dust Breaker basically out of need. It is the Wing Guardian, yeah, okay. It's one of those where it's like, if I don't get the Wing Guardian, yeah, okay. If I get the Dust Breaker, I'm like super happy, so. <clears throat> yeah, interesting. Take the Skies for them as well, all right. 
We got Spine Tail. We got Loyal Henchman. Dude, these decks, it's just everybody playing the same stuff right now. Wild. Actually, kind of crazy. Do we like Emerald Explorer better? No. Nah. I don't think we do. So we can do this again, and we actually have a bit more information. We also see some buffed dragons, which will probably tell us more too. Uh, okay, so we know it's this. <laughs> we, do, we, we know. Oh, yeah, you can confirm. Now, these like smaller dragons being dormant could theoretically be a bit of a limitation for them, I guess. I mean, I doubt it, but especially on a turn where they might be want to play like a dragon golem or something, it could it could be a limitation. On wings of destruction, they yeah, they got a cleric of scales, man. We don't even have that. That's crazy. Do I just go winged guardian on seven? They didn't play theirs. They just chilled. Interesting. We know they have this. I mean, I think I might. Emerald Explorer is not any better right now for me. Uh, oh, they wanted to play a Spine Tail to swing. That makes sense. Yeah, this lines up fairly well into that 7 6. Why don't. What else am I going to do? It? <clears throat> it's a fine moment for it. Now, this guy's getting huge, which is nice. This deck does potentially have Adara, though, so we need to keep that in mind for like board clears. We currently don't really have any good board clears for the record. We have Shadowward Ruin only. No Adara. Of course, Reno is not going to hit very often, if ever. We saw. Have... Well, we actually only have Innervate and Dream Portal currently. Reno is not that far off, <laughs> weirdly. We hit a Dream Portal uh, and an Innervate and a Reno. We're good to go. We need to be thinking about a good Murazon turn, basically, when they play like a Treasure, maybe. Um, they missed again, man. These Envoy of Fools are tough, dude. We only got ours because they, uh, well, we kind of had a good guess on the first one, too. Oh, whoa, cool. I've seen that card in a long time. Getting all these old Descent of Dragons cards showing up. Kind of fun. Spine Tail Drake again. All right. This card just keeps swinging everybody, doesn't he? Spy's getting close. Maybe we go Thrive. These are nine together, actually, remember, so. Oh, Dream Portal and Innervate. Let's take uh, the Dream Portal for now, because that draws me another card. And gets us a nice body. Oh, really nice body. Dang. Oh, we got the, the, whoa, wow. Cool. Man, I really wish I could heal that guy. <laughs> uh, maybe we just draw. I need cards, right? Rising winds, but I'm right now. Good free body here, though. Calicos, man. Uh, if this lives, of course, we get some nice, big, sick discounts on rising winds. <laughs> you know, big, sick discounts. Good dragon, though. Cannot complain. That's clearly a high roll when you can get like an idiot 2 1. Bye. Uh, very good, very soon, probably. All right, that's a big boy. These uh, these don't gain the dormant because they're not played or summoned. So no no board clog there. You think twin spell could make a comeback? Yeah, I think that's one of those keywords that definitely feels. Oh, they see the Murazon. Okay, this this might make them hesitate here and there um, about like what they want to do. You know, two dragons here. Yeah, let's get some big boys. Not the cheapest spell to cheat, but it's something. Ooh, Alexstrasza. Oh my god, they're almost dead. I have 9, 11. So do I... Oh, that's an interesting question. Do I go for this now and try to kill them? Or... Do I wait till I have a bigger board? I mean, we know they have at least a little healing. The problem is I don't have any damage over the top. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have any damage over the top. I can make a really big board. I mean, I, I guess it's just such a big board that they have a lot of problems to solve sort of thing. I guess this is fine. Let's just make them solve some problems, you know? Like put them in check basically make them very nervous um it's just it's just a lot to figure out all at once you got to figure out life gain you got to figure out the board 
I think it's okay. It could be, you know, it could be its own like independent fi finality later. But if we force like a big reaction, like, I don't know, wand of disintegration, for instance, we saw it before, and then we can Murazon to that, that could be pretty cool. It's actually a pretty decent Murazon card in its own right. Uh, just because you get a treasure and a big body. I mean, it's not much of a treasure for us. It's a one drop, but it's not bad. Uh, they only got five mana to clear the rest of this board. How's this math looking up? Uh, I think they can kind of get there. Yeah, definitely with a spell or two, they can get there. Oh, that definitely helps too. Heal for a chill eight. Uh, that is good for our Murazon again, but we might just Shadow Word Ruin to deal with that, huh? Because we don't want them healing again. <gasps> wow. We're turning. Whoa! Kizu Daraka Darake, dude. 20 gifted subs out of nowhere. What the heck, dude? What the heck? Oh yeah, that's that's actually enhanced. I can't if I want if I want them to not heal, I can't play minions. Oh well, okay. <laughs> Forget that. I guess that's happening. Minions are being played. <gasps> oh. I have to wait on that, right? Like that this is not the time. So I would get a Fi. What else did they play? The the excavate guy. I think this is about as good of a Murazon as we're going to get, to be honest, until we see, like, treasures later. I'm going to go for it and just, you know, reap the benefit of this Murazon, basically. I know they have more life gain, but we're going to, like, force them to react to this board. And then... Uh... Oh, that guy's a battle cry. Shoot, I always think he's a death rattle. Dang it. I always think that bro's a death rattle, and I don't know why. Every single time I think that. Every single time, honestly. I gotta learn. He's not a freaking death rattle. Oh, bro. Extra board. Nice. Oh, big board, too. Nice. Oh, this guy would have been really cool. Dang. So, like, clear this board. Okay, whatever. Now we wish. You know what I mean? Uh, Kizu, again, dude. Thank you for the gifted subs. Holy moly. 20 gifted subs out of nowhere, man. That surprised me. Uh, grats to we just played. Silgato, Wot, uh, that fish, Perk, Mr. Misguided, Robitussin, Alpha Squid, Gianchi, Pork and Beans, the Doctor, Michael, Lisu, Crego, Atom, Moish, Delaterna, Pesketh, Phantom, Danby3, and Kalidas, dude. Amazing. Thank you, Kizu, for your first ever 20 gift of subs. That's awesome, man. That's really nice. Oh, that's pretty small. The Fi is really big, though. Can we get a shard, man? Can we get a shard? I can actually draw quite a bit. Shadow Word Ruin is obviously too risky though. Fear of the Flame's not it. Uh, I guess this is slightly cheaper, isn't it, for now? <gasps> Aeon Reaver is not exactly what we're looking for, but it's kind of insane. Shard is really what we're looking for. The Sunspot Dragon is back. Are you kidding me? So I guess we'll just heal them again and just win the board here, right? I think it's okay. Well, I, uh, no, I don't have one more draw and, well, yeah, no, I can, I can, uh, this is 12, right? <gasps> Light bomb? No, too risky. This is fine. We'll just heal them eight. It's fine. We're winning on value right now, so it's all good. Still actually hitting for 11 here, too. And their board is like a lot of uh, dormant at the moment, so they can't they can't make too many new scary things. Uh, we saw this wish backup plan too, right? So we're still still gonna have a crazy board bomb later. I am I am worried about them drawing an Adara for the record. Still, like that's clearly still a threat. But uh, I don't know. We're in a great position. Great hand, fatigue advantage. Twenty gifted subs in the chat. Uh, Theo also dropped the eleven months. I think Theo. Thank you, Theo. Are the tutu? Why do we like the tutu? Is this lethal at all? No, too much of my stuff dies. I would ruin. I don't have enough left over, right? 8, 10, 14. Almost. They're just making some big old taunts, by the way, man. 
Dream portal? Ugh, that's space. It's not usually going to be helpful to me. It is big, though. Oh, you mean trade the two to deal six? It was more of an energy the, or mana cost problem, I think. In my mind, at least it was. Uh, okay, this twin spell's gone, so let's dig here. Okay, bro. Now I'm getting too many of these. <gasps> Nailed it! I'm a god. <laughs> let's go. That shard has been so clutch, dude. Nailed it. Cool. Uh, yeah. This is definitely the pick. <laughs> Always. Dude, good run, dude. This is a good run. This is my best duels run I've had in a while, honestly. I haven't had that many, so... Last couple I had were like two and threes and stuff, though. So this feels good. Portals, uh... Portals are kind of hit and miss, right? I don't know. As we get more and more cards and we get less likely to find Reno, right? It it it, it makes sense to have more portals because you just, you know, Reno's not going to happen very often anyway. So I, it, I think it's a worthwhile exchange, but it does that kind of transition point from having Reno to not having Reno feels kind of weird. And then you, you know, as you get deeper to the run, it feels better and better to have the portals because as you can see now, we have like multiple triplicate or duplicates. Uh, okay, good dragon opener. These have all felt pretty good. Let's keep these. Ramp has really, really felt good though. There's the ramp, nice. Coin spy, splish splash into spine tail. Looks nice. Definitely don't want to lose board too much. Definitely want to get some dragons rolling. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, te I'm tempted by it always, right? But again, I don't actually think it's right. We have. We have two more duplicates. Uh, Envoy, Innervate. I can't just not, like, I mean, maybe if I drew an Envoy, I'd be like, oh my, oh my God, we drew the Innervate, bro. Dude, <laughs> no way, right? I can't hold for Reno, right? There's just not, it's just not worth it. There's just no way it's worth it. If I draw the Envoy though, it is actually active, but I'm just, I'm just better. I, it's just not worth it because I don't know if I'm going to need it. It does actually delete their cannon, which is kind of spicy. Um, okay. I mean, there's just no way it's worth it, right? We, with the dragon plan is just too good. We just have to go for dragons. There's no way I'm holding. I do have coin innervate though. So I could play the Reno on six. If I were to, oh, actually, that means I can play another dragon. Nice. Okay. Uh, two dragons is risky, though. <clears throat> I'm really just missing Envoy, <clears throat> and then I can play the Reno in two turns, bro. It's <laughs> dude, that just seems so greedy, though, because this is like so insane. I mean, I can just play this now, man. One, two, three, four. It's five total dudes. I, I, I'm not going to go for the Reno thing, guys. It's too greedy. I think we just, just develop now. This is a monster turn four play. It's just too greedy, man. It, it, like, I'm never going to try to force it. If it lines up, great, you know, whatever. We But we got our, like, three wins out of it early. That's what you want out of it. We're happy. We achieved the Reno goal and we move on you know what i mean this is good enough actually could have well i guess if you put this guy in you lose a dude so no never mind it's better next turn um so they don't have a board clear here obviously we're gonna be super happy uh we expect like taunts mostly right um which again we know we can clear a lot of the time pretty well <clears throat> hmm this is a little atypical for us the spine tail drake math is just not great I wonder if there's a better card in the benevolent banker i mean i'd almost rather have a card from my deck because i can hit shard or portals yeah i don't think we do that um all right so uh yeah we're just gonna trade in some of these if we actually want to hit face which i think it's worth it to hit face here a little bit right sadly everything's pretty big but i think it's worth a little We get to hit for 12. I guess we can trade this guy in that too, yeah. 
Maybe after we play these to get some portals and then trade in to hit our portals if we can. It's nice. So yeah, Reno's pretty turned off now with three portals and the Lazul. It's just very unlikely to connect. I think we look here for like shard or portal, you know. This henchman's still actually huge. We didn't even get to play this last game. How big was this last game? It was probably an 8-8 or something. Last game, it probably got huge. Blade Storm. Okay, thankfully we have that staggered health there. But this this thing's pretty good. Feeling two more. Thrive. All right, this does actually feel like a henchman turn, maybe. Portal for the board now or wish because it's just like insane. <clears throat> portal now does actually draw me a card and get me closer to the reno again because i'm actually not playing another dragon i think we take the portal weirdly i know the wish is very exciting wishes are cool but i'm also just really ahead right now and hopefully can kind of push push this advantage a little bit maybe just win this guy's cool dude the squall hunter Spell damage plus two, we don't really benefit from, but. So if I drew a portal and a Lazul, Reno's good to go, man. Until I play a dragon, I could thrive to find the portal. The portal draws the Lazul. And we just kill the Armagadillo. Actually, how much damage do we have? 10, 17, and two is 19 plus mark. If I hit, uh, shard here it's just lethal again right this shard has been insane shard i think is the best card in my deck <laughs> it's actually crazy i think shard has won me like three or four straight games it's it's the best card of the deck quick spot by me man i'm proud I'm proud let's go I do kind of like pure cold's reach. Like this deck doesn't have a ton of reach. Uh, necrotic poison though, is just very handy to have, you know, just good removal, all these big taunts and stuff. Seen a lot of these blood moon. I don't think we need as much. We already have some life gain. Like, yeah, we do have boards that benefit from it. Sure. But ultimately it's not good from behind. It doesn't have like flexibility. This is probably the most generically useful. I think it's gotta be necrotic. There's just too many taunts uh aeon reaver again okay breath of infinites okay dragon golem's really good Fi's really good thirsty drifter is probably a card that is six mana for us almost exclusively <laughs> we do have some dragons maybe that could fill in a little but i like these other two so much the the dragon golems are insane we're really really turning off reno now but we're doing so in exchange for extremely high deck card quality what are the doctor's office today for the baby? I think, I think all the sick kids got me, man. I might keep this Murazon, dude. I don't know. It just feels so powerful. We've got a pretty good opener, so I don't need to worry as much about early game tempo. And I'm just like, this card is just so good against treasures. Bro, Reno. It's, I just, it's like, he's so bad in hand, but I get tempted every time now. Oh man, I get tempted every time. <laughs> it's like he's not right, but I just keep getting tempted, you know? This is a dragon shaman or something. Is it shaman or is this druid? I didn't even see. It might still be druid. Everybody's just playing druid now. It can't be, can be druid, right? Yeah, guff is horde, right? Yeah, the torn. Uh, okay. Mine tail's good. Good tempo. Oh, super ramp for them. Scary. Actually pretty spooky. We can't lose with shard in hand, though. We know. We know this is a win condition all by itself, man. Hesitant to even trade it off. <laughs> like, you don't want to... Oh, my God. The ramp is insane. They've hit double ramp and double axe. They're at seven mana already. Oh my God. These Reno cards are so bad when you don't. Ugh. I mean, she's an 8-8. It's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, I'll take this. This game's not looking good though, man. We're four mana behind already. Morazan could catch us up though. Morazan's chill. Nourish is good. That helps catch up to catch up the ramp. We're just taking kind of a downturn in the meantime, but we have the board, so 
It's maybe not disastrous. Oh, just kidding. It's it's really bad. <laughs> it's actually very bad. Uh, I mean, it helps a little. This actually helps a little too, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think I better get this down while I can, right? This board is very terrifying. I need the bodies and I need the healing, honestly. <laughs> Potentially taking a chill 15 here. Um, Shard, of course, removes the taunt, but doesn't remove any stats right now. So still a very problematic board for us either way. <sighs> um, yeah. Reno is not going to be active for a lifetime. Way too many duplicates. Our own Dragon Golem would be good. A Fi would probably be pretty good. Oh, they got their own Fi. We're way too far off a of Wish. I could maybe just set up for the Wish. Kind of, uh, like ramp this turn and and go for the Wish. ASAP sort of thing. I'm not dead on board or anything, particularly after like playing this. Oh, I'm still one off on Wish next turn though. So it's, it's gonna take a minute to get to the wish. I'm gonna remove the stats off the Phi here so that the henchman has slightly better plays. I don't know. Like this trades a little better, like it's a two for one basically. It may, well, this is still pretty, well, no, this is good too though, it's fine. I don't know, it's just, it's just desperation, right? But I'm just trying to buy time into this wish basically. I need one more turn. So hopefully Murazond has something good. And okay, that's 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 not the best Murazond card. I could use an Adara actually right now. That's better for Murazond. That's much better for Murazond. Uh Splish Splash is a minute or two late. I think Murazond plus heal here is really just the play. And then we try to wish out of this. You think this is your time? You I mean, I guess I don't really need the heal unless I think I'm dead. Right? Which I don't think I'm dead. I mean, this ramp doesn't do anything, though. Puts a portal in the deck, which is kind of interesting. <clears throat> 8, 6, 14, 16. Yeah, I... I don't need the heal. I'd rather get a body down, right? I mean... Okay. Surely they... Surely they have duplicates, though, right? I don't know. Um... Alright, so basically the goal here is, like... Maybe they overcommit face a little bit. I can like take some interesting trades to clear out my board and wish to resolve some problems. I don't know. This guy's kind of getting spooky. Oh, bro, that's extra spooky. Dang. Um, spine tail. Like, can I put together a decent turn here without the wish? Like Reno not active, obviously. Two portals, two fives. We're pretty close to the Reno, weirdly, though. I mean, let's see what we got, man. <laughs> I don't know. The rush minions, taunt minions, all that would be good. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, Lord. That is one of the worst. <laughs> That's like one of the worst things ever to ever happen to me. <laughs> we got Vexilis plus Sif, which is kind of a crazy combo in a lot of worlds, but just completely useless to us. Uh, so I actually need to draw Dream Portal into Mind Pocalypse, and then I need to Mind Pocalypse into Innervate. Well, actually, Adara would be good for us as well. Actually, an Adara. Our opponent is trading a lot, which is is going to give us a lot of time here to recover, potentially, which I like. Oh, never mind. We're just going to die. Um, Yeah, it's kind of got to be like Adara or Active Reno, I think. I mean, Aeon Reaver's decent, but I don't think really he's really keeping alive, right? This is a nine mana play. I can, I can even a Matron, I guess. <sighs> Stay 
This is terrible. Just again, not very good. Kind of barely hanging on here, man. Hyper Blaster is really good. I don't have, I'm not any closer to an active Reno. I need Fi. I need Adara would still be completely insane. Opponent is really trading a lot though, which I do love. I do love them trading. Just not, they're not committing enough face pressure just yet. Is the Ray Estraza active? No. I need Light Bomb actually would be decent. Great. Currently I could trade the one ones would be decent. It's not great. But Adara is really the card. Oh God. Wait, man, they were so close to lethal. Okay, Fi is a card. Yeah, not, not, not enough though, right? Just not enough. Uh, is this my only good card draw? Man, that sucks. There's just no outs here, right? Dream portal? Taunts? Big taunts? Actually, that doesn't even make... <gasps> Light bomb! Is that enough to stay alive? <gasps> what? What is that from? Oh, the I forgot about the Proto Drake. That's the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro. Bro, <laughs> Drake into the rush slash charge guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Um, fortunately, the oh, they're gonna give me four health. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah. Fortunately, the unfortunately, the Fi doesn't heal again off that weapon, but we stabilized the board, which is the important thing. Um, oh my god, dude. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's all oh, these stupid dragon golems, man. Why are these so nasty? It's got it's got to be Adara, right? I could actually Emerald Explorer. No, I can't Emerald Explorer into a golem. No, that's not it. Thrive anything? Mind Apocalypse maybe has an out. Need a Dara still. Rush minion's kind of nice. Dragon Tails just doesn't have any outs, right? There's no big enough dragons. I mean, a Fi is kind of cool. Oh my god, another Ray Estraza, bro. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that'll do it. We're gonna get that, dude. That that was a pretty good chain we managed to muster there, but they get this weapon. Honestly, they didn't have this weapon or, you know, 17 dragon golems. I would have felt better about this game. We had some good outs though. Like we had more portals, could have been more taunts. We had a Dara still, it was an out. We had some really good outs. Yeah, Shadow Word Ruin wasn't quite good enough. So it wasn't a ton of outs, right? It wasn't a ton of outs, but. You know, a couple fives to buy us a turn or two, maybe to stay alive, right? Adara, of course, could clear another board, although I'm guessing they'd have a 19th dragon golem and it wouldn't have mattered, but you know, it would have bought us a turn at least. Uh, yeah, we don't need those. That was a crazy game, dude. That was a cr that was actually, for, for a loss, that was a really fun loss. I'll take those all day. Is it good to put Reno in your deck when it won't be on for your passive? It won us the first three games, so it just depends on how much you value one card dead in hand versus winning three games. I would say that is a net positive value. Literally won us the first three games. So if you want to win three games and then and then have one bad card for the rest of the run, that's that's kind of your metric, I think. Ooh, nice. Either a dragon. So, I don't know. I mean, same thing we used to always talk about with Zephyrus too, right? Like, same thing with Zephyrus. It would sometimes win you a, a game early or two. And then, 
Dude, it is literally just all dragon druid and duels. What in the world? I'm not sure that's a particularly satisfying uh Give me that give me that portal into uh uh Onyxia. Job done. <laughs> not bad, dude, not bad. <laughs> it's not dude, I called that shot by the way. One dragon into the into the Ysera. It's my turn two, right? Yeah, turn two Ysera is pretty solid. We'll take it. I called that freaking shot, man. Dude, Fi is cheap already. It's kind of crazy. Straw on it for six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double Fi at five. That's nuts. Um, I mean, I'd probably play a Fi next turn. They're just big. I don't need the healing, but they're just big. All right. Yeah, why is Chump auto modded? You can, if, if a mod knows how to turn that out of the auto mod. That's certainly, I, like of all the, there's just so many really terrible words get through the auto mod and it's like Chump is the most like inoffensive uh, insult, you know? Uh, he's a chump. It's like such a boring insult to get auto modded. Dude, these portals are hitting like crazy. That's insane. Do we just rip this shard for better trades? Uh, it's only a couple better trades, but it is notably better. I I worry about like setting up lethals later since I have decent hits now. Like maybe we just take the decent hits now and play like a dragon golem. Only three dragons. Uh, it's kind of weak. I do feel like maybe I could do better. I don't know. It's five. Fies get giga discounted too, though. Yeah, I think we're not gonna greed the shard yet. I think we can. I think we can just play this a little more straight up. It's fine. I basically don't want to get too greedy too soon. This math is kind of bad too, though. I don't know. Maybe this was worth it. <clears throat> it just depends on where we go later with the game. Shard is so good later. It's it's. Do we think we have enough to win now is the question. If we do, then we should shard now. If we don't, we should save the shard. I, I don't know. It's close. I would say it's close. I will say my hand's a little light for playing the long game. So that's a consideration. What do we have for ramp and a draw? So they're taking kind of a downturn again. That makes me kind of wish I'd gone. Pushing a little harder here might have been worth it. But double fi certainly builds a crazy board. Um, let's us push quite a bit of damage here again. Actually, still get the draw too. Are you kidding me? Oh, Murazon's a good recovery tool too. Uh, let's play this guy. I don't think I'm worried about board lockouts against Druid. Uh, maybe more card draw. The portal is we're, we're full, so portal's no good. More card draw is fine. Yeah, this is good. Crazy board. Shard to clear if they go for a taunt wall again off golems. <sighs> so, yeah, I think this line's all right. If they go for like a crazy wand or something, we can always Murazond. I don't know if that's even any good, but, you know. Let's create the checks here. What turn is it? We both have like a million mana, but I feel like it's like turn five or something. <laughs> I don't know what turn it is, but it's not that far along. They're digging for an out here. That's a good sign. May not have anything ready. Uh, yeah, Chump is also a streamer, but it's also just a word. You know, he's a chump. Ah, oh, yeah, shard, nice. Okay, so pay it off. Like I said, this is uh, always a bit of a gamble, you know. But this shard, man, I, I don't, I don't know if we'd have a single win without this shard, dude. <laughs> it's been insanely clutch. Basically, the dragon golem walls are so frustrating without it. It's nuts. I actually really like the way I've been playing this run, by the way. I know I said that earlier, but it, it kind of remains true. Uh, let's just take the spyglass, dude. Everybody's running dragon druid anyway, so we're just going to get more dragon druid cards. It's foolproof. <laughs> Absolutely foolproof. Sarah unleashed more portals. I think I just like Fi. 
This guy's pretty bad though, a tram heist. Uh, too much value, I don't really need that. Yeah, these are expensive though. Maybe it's just this, I don't know. Ancient of Lore is kind of wacky. I like Innervate Ruin, but that's all. Fi is so good, I'm just gonna take the Fi, I don't know, whatever. Hey, seven wins, let's go by the way, nice. Getting our money back. That's always a good good, good uh, first run of the expansion, dude. Can't complain. Of course, it seems like we're playing the most broken thing, though, so uh, maybe maybe the most boring thing in the expansion. Everybody's doing this. I think the title of this video is going to be Dragon Druid is Rampant. Dragon Druid Domination. Dragon Druid Domination in Duels. All right, uh, sure. Uh, that's another dragon druid. Yeah, it's literally every rampant. Oh, that is also yeah. That is a play on play on ramp. That's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think I said that right. I didn't realize it, and then you told me how cool that is. So yeah, another taunt. Um, which is really good with the dragon golems. We're finding out. Let's play Mindpocalypse next turn. So hopefully we find some cool stuff to do with it. This is literally just every game, dude. Every game is the same exact cards. It's just ramp, ramp, ramp. No, we'll get some treasures or something, right? That's gotta be better. Let's go, easy. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's just every game. Just everybody has 18 mana. Everybody's got a million dragons. Just just go for it, man. Dude, we are we are not far from Reno, to be honest. I mean, we do have some dream portals already. This is so stupid. It's just, it's just these whelps taking bats with each other all night, man. What the heck, dude? This is crazy. This, this is actually crazy. Portal early is really good though. The portals definitely seem to be giving us a big benefit against the other dragon druids. It, it feels like to me so far anyway. Seem to be very beneficial. Um, maybe just a big boy for next turn. Yeah, big threat. Like we're kind of ahead on board, so let's just maybe get a threat going. Don't have an answer currently to a dragon golem. Light bomb is never the right shape. So that's scary. Another, I mean, are you kidding me, dude? How many whelps are gonna get played this game? <laughs> this is so silly. It's actually silly. How many freaking whelps get played? Oh, that's a good removal, but we're gonna have some bigger threats later, so I don't really mind. That's uh. In the scheme of uh, things to kill, that's pretty medium sized, I would say, in our in our threat package. Like literally, we're just gonna play a proto drake that's bigger and scarier right away. Nest matron, cool. Yeah, that's a free bonus. Let's go for it, man. Oh god, is it a free bonus? You idiot! It's not free. I mean, it's kind of free. Coin gets us a nice bonus hit here anyway. Maybe it's kind of free. Ever. Cost a coin technically. It's a lot of tempo though, either way. Now that said, I am out of stuff. I may have to go tram heist just to get some cards here soon. Uh I could play Reno just to get a better hero power. I will say though, my hero power is pretty good. Being able to draw cards is not bad, so I'm not actually sure Reno is a better hero power. He has discover and some draw, but uh drawing every turn. Also seems pretty good. So what have they played this turn? They played Cactus Construct into Zephyrus. Is that active? There's no way. No way. Would be insane. Take flight, destroying, okay. And that's actually pretty good for the tram heist. I don't love Cactus Construct though. I'd like to get like a treasure or something. Spinetail Drake's pretty good too though, man. I can actually play that just to remove this Drake and it for 12. I don't hate that at all. Wish in hand. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. Just a way to get some cards, you know. I, 
Bro, I'm not holding a dragon. Bro, oh my god. That, oh my god, I'm, t I'm so tilted right now, dude. <laughs> I just take it for granted, you know? I just, I just take it for granted. You just kind of assume you're holding one, you know? You just have so many normally. Unbelievable. Actually ripped off, dude. I feel so ripped off right now. I mean, it's fine. It's a 5-4 tempo, but, you know, this would be much nicer if it were dead. It also kind of tells the opponent we don't have any dragons right now, which is sort of scary for them to know. Can this bomber uh, snipe that 6-1 is the next question. Bomber, you got this. It's funny. The henchman kind of gives you a picture of how much ramp you've had, right? It's like, I thought he was going to be way bigger, but it's a couple points shy because of all the ramps. So Wish was terrible last time. It can't be that bad again, right? Can't be that bad again. The question is, do you save it for like healing or not? It's going for the body here. Interesting. Okay. I dig it. You feel like you're falling behind on tempo a little bit. It makes sense. Thrive. Maybe like lethals, do we? No. So shard's not very good yet. I always go portal to get a body and another card. It's nice that this draws you the card. It's kind of like a free body. Aeon Reaver? I mean, it's not bad actually. Yeah, I'll take it. Gets us a clean hit on this 6 1, which I think feels pretty good. Gets a hit for 8. Yeah, that's fine. Wish next turn if we need it. Um, still no good clear on a dragon golem board is my biggest fear right now. <clears throat> Shard would do that. Uh, Adara, we haven't we haven't seen an Adara by the way in about six hours. I feel like they're they're going dragon golem here. That's why they're trading off. Uh, where is that Adara, man? Oh, actually, Ruin is insane. Forget it. They went. They went too big. They're too. They're too big. I lose my Proto Drake, but I don't really mind. I get a body back. Oh, they kill it for me anyway. For oh my god, forget it, dude. I mean, I guess I lose the Baron Geddon, but that's two free damage. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. It'll die. I was thinking it's every turn. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not Grom. Or not Grom. Uh, it's not Gruel. Oh my god, dude. They just, <laughs> they just keep making him better, to be honest. Like, yeah, the healing here is a little annoying, but th this board clear is just going to feel extra spicy. Extra, extra good. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's just play our dudes, right? These are, these are actually pretty decently sized. <laughs> uh... Is it Lumberer? We have seen some Lumberers. I don't know if they've had a good chance to play it yet. Oh, I was going to play it this turn, right? If it was, it was a pretty big high roll of it hit. We're okay, though. So what was it? It was the, the Whelp. That's fine. We can live with Whelps. All right. So we probably want to wish soon just for the board. Five portals, three Fies, two Innervates for Reno. He's actually not far off on these, you know, portals are really the the problem. Well, I don't know. There's currently, what, six, seven duplicates in the deck? I guess that's kind of bad. Oh, dude, he's big. I need that uh, necrotic poison here. He's drawing a million cards, too, which is scary. He's really big. I mean, I can hit and then light bomb, but it feels kind of bad. I mean, I might have to. It's just kind of the only good play I have. This is 12 together, which isn't quite enough. I mean, hit light bomb is not good, but it's not bad. I don't know how much I want to play for just tempo is the problem. Cause they just have such a big hand. Like I, I need to find a way to turn the corner here. I, I guess it's probably going to be wish, but 
Oh, I don't know. Last time it backfired so much. I want to be careful with it. I need good cards is my current problem. I just have no good cards. I need I need to be hero powering like every turn that I can. Try to find Adara. Try to hit more portals. Bro. That's actually insane. I don't. I mean, the treasures are always good, right? Like, let's not be, let's not mince words. Treasures are always good. Um, see you, Shreddies, man. Have a good one. Um, I, I, it, like, listen, treasures are always good, but they're not like that crazy at this stage of a duels run. You know what I mean? They're not like, like in standard, you know, the treasures are completely insane. In duels, they're good. They're still very powerful, still very game winning in many cases, you know, like a ton of burst damage, etc. They're like crazy. They're turned down just a little bit. Oh my God, the second Kazakasan. So they don't have to worry about fatigue yet. That's so cool. There's a necrotic poison we're looking for though. Do I go for the wish this turn and just, it's too risky into the treasures maybe? I gotta maybe use this for healing in case I get like Book of the Deads and stuff. Oh God, this game is stretching out in a weird way. I'm not a fan. <gasps> Doesn't work on Kazakis on Battle Cries don't work, but it could be insane later. Man, this turn is very bad though. If I just if I only necrotic poison. But if they go for like greedy treasures here. <sighs> this card's just so bad right now. I literally only have one dragon for him. And he's not buffed at all. Um I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I need portals. I need good cards. Oh, okay. Portals and treasures, man. This guy's deck is greedy. It's going to be hard to win this. So much greed. Can I draw a freaking envoy of freaking Lazul? Are you kidding me? This is unbelievable. Dragon Tails is actually pretty good. Maybe we go Dragon Golem here while we have a decently sized hand for it. Probably. Might bait some removal, which isn't ideal, but it's not bad either. <clears throat> Dream Portal, okay. Ugh. Big boy. It's actually a lot of damage. There is a chance... We could just get a break point here if they like don't remove this board for some reason this turn, you know? Nine, 14, 22 sort of thing. <laughs> Imagine the Mad Bomber for lethal guys. <laughs> I can see it now, dude. I'm waiting on a really good turn for the Murazond. I'm kind of waiting to take some face damage for the Wish, which my thought is like, yeah, of course, wish is sometimes better earlier, you know, just overwhelm them before they have a chance. But given the number of cards they have in hand, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't have a shard of the Naru either to like turn that board into guaranteed face damage off of like taunt boards. So I'm just kind of sitting on the wish a little bit. <sighs> that plan may backfire because they might outvalue me anyway, and it may be too late for the wish to make an impact. Um, but, but I'm explaining my logic anyway. Man, do they not have an answer to this sort of thing? What's going on here? Do not tell me they like DC'd. Oh my God, I'll feel so bad. I mean, I, I'll take the win. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'll take it. I'll just, I'll feel guilty about it in the meantime. No way. Maybe they just didn't have an answer to this. There's no way you don't have a way to get through this. Oh no, they're finally going. Wait, what? Oh no, dude, dude, no. Oh, I feel so bad. I have to take it though, right? I can't not do it. I feel so what 914 yeah it's lethal oh I feel really bad oh dude you just you can't not do it though I mean it's it's this deep into a duels run and it's not like you can ever recapture the raw state of the game anyway because obviously if I like pass and don't kill them it's still thrown off the mana expenditures and it may backfire on me because my board stagger like gets too dense you know sucks though I hope they didn't DC maybe they were just didn't have an out yeah, no, no mercy. Yeah, it could have been rage. I don't know. It seemed like a DC a little bit because he came back right at the end, but 
All right, eight wins, man. This is going good, dude. Going good. Uh, we don't need the wish early. I'll keep the spine tail. That's been a pretty big swing, dude. It's another dude. It's literally just all dragon druids. Oh, the henchman's bad, but the Adar is good. It's. I'll tell you why. It's because it, there's too many ways to get druid. You've got Elise, you've got Omu, and you've got Drekthar. So there's a very good chance in any given uh, draft that you have a very high likelihood to get Druid. And then if the Druids are that much better than everybody else, of course, they're going to eliminate all the non-Druids early in runs. So the, the, the amount of non-Druids that sort of survive into the late portion of a run is lower and lower as each Druid knocks them out. So by the top end, it's just Druid on Druid on Druid action. Which, if you're into that, I mean, I bet you're enjoying this experience. But if you're not into that, forget it, man. You're not having any fun. <clears throat> Are you into the druids? <laughs> What's the, I can't think of a good way to say this. Yeah. Hey, I've seen 47 of these today so many it's like so funny too it's the same garbage like uh secondary cards every time you know uh like it's always the rising winds because they're just in the expansion alongside all the dragons it's so funny you get the oh my god that's big dude so big endurance training plus dragon affinity is gross i think we probably necrotic this just to really win tempo here but it's not my favorite uh, I just, I can't let that thing, you know, thrive, that's for sure. I will say a lot of these decks have sort of lacked healing. Now, this isn't Elise, so, you know, they have the hero power and probably some priest cards. So they may have more healing than some of these, but, but the kind of connect with face damage plan has worked a little better on average than I anticipated working normally in duels. So that's something to keep in mind. It's felt surprisingly good. Rising wins again, yeah. Here he's like decent with the uh one two only for the dragon golem. Ugh. I mean, yeah, don't don't love this, honestly. Just not a great hand. I mean, Adara is a really big swing on their dragon golems, which they can play anytime if they have one. So maybe they don't have one, or maybe it's not enough dragons yet. Because theirs are like super, super cheap. That would definitely make it a lot better. We can Adara the dragon golems and just stack the deck with dragon golems, which is kind of cool, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't have a lot of dragons in hand for that right now. So it's not, it's not a good game plan yet anyway. Oh, that Fi is already so nasty one mana so gross jeez i only have one dragon in hand for this dragon golem man bounce the five back and double clear this has been really good we maybe should have ran this it's really good on dragon golems uh it's definitely been good on five for people maybe i just throw this in because what the heck else am i gonna do draw a card and kiri I can, I can try to greed one more turn, maybe. We have the Adara for catch up, so it's not crazy. No, I really want that in hand, right? So, do we coin a Lunar here? It's just so bad. I think we don't. I think we just chill. The Fi gives them good trade value anyway, so we're not worried about that necessarily. Okay, you know, Reno is, once again, since we haven't played a lot of dragons, Reno's not bad here. Oh, this is full on taunt. I love it. That's cool. The Azari Chain Gang. Whoa, the Militia Horn too. Dang, that's cool. I like that turn. That's fun, man. It really does not feel like the turn I want to Adara though yet. Reno is one Fi, one Envoy, and one Innervate away. Again, it's it's actually still too much, but it's definitely makes you think. All right, I think we just go for our uh, our golem boys here. It's a fine time for it. Bye, we'll come down and eat one, but that's all right. This is enough to be worth it, I think. All right. Um, 
Yeah, nice. Dude, by the way, guys, Ray Estraza, we have not played one time. No, we did win one game with Ray Estraza. She was not as impactful as Rito, but she did she did win us one game, I think. She's even worse than Rito in this case, is the problem. All right, they're sitting on that five for a long time. What are they waiting on it? Oh, bro, a swarm of light bugs? Are you kidding me? This is like more tokeny than I expected. It's pretty cool, actually. All right, dream portal. Rising winds, eh? What is this guy? The carry on Drake. Cool, Witchwood. I had hand size, but I'm just, you know, wanting to play two of these, hopefully. Maybe we can weave in a nest, nest, nest matron first, though. That's fine. One more portal in the mix. All right, so my apocalypse is definitely good for some reload later. Let's draw one more here. Well, heal is also really nice here. I think I value. Splish splash. All right. It's not a bad turn. We generated a ton of resources. We found the wish. Um, I am worried of playing wish too early because they also might have an Adara, which I don't want to play into too hard. Buy Envoy, Innervate and Portals, of course, for the Reno. This is a game that could definitely just like go to fatigue. Anachronos off the skeletal freaking dragon. That's cool. Maybe this is a good time to wish. It's on 10. They have an Adara. It does maybe populate their deck with garbage a little bit. Yeah, the Dream Portal makes it a little worse. We have one less spot here. I'm going to go for it though, man. Let's build this crazy board. Let's do it. Maybe this was their only good removal. Who knows? Oh, bro, um, I mean, a lot of garbage. The Tathalon Blood Watcher made the Solar Eclipse cheaper. This is pretty bad for them on a, uh, like an Adara, I gotta say. Not a lot of good stuff here. Duskbreaker times two. <laughs> Just a chill double dusk, okay. Sure. That was terrible. Dude, that was way better than the last one, to be honest. It would have been nice if this was the real Ragnaros to maybe kill that 8-8. That one was way better than the last one. You'd be stunned to know. Uh, Yeah, let's start here, I guess. I mean, obviously Light Bomb clears, but that feels pretty bad. Uh... Light Bomb's a little better against Golems, I guess. It's still not very good usually, though. Just not sure what to take here, right? Dream Portals are good. We love Dream Portals. Pretty nice. Yeah, Ray Estraza. Okay. Spyglass we can try, yeah. Eh, sure. Yeah, that's big and cheap. Uh... Yeah, maybe. Tradable's pretty nice. This turn is going kind of just like doing a million things here, man. I don't know, dude. Not a bad board we built, really. Uh... Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes! Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot about the Anachronos coming back. Oh, my God. I, I maybe shouldn't have played these. Is it already time? It seems like it's not time yet. It's kind of funny wording. It's not time yet. Dude, I only need to connect 15 now. That's kind of nuts. They don't know I got this either, right? Oh, that is such a good card. Does Light Bomb kill the Onyxia? Well, certainly if she trades off all the whelps, it does. This is six on the Alex. These portals could attack. All right, that's garbage. One, two, three, three. Decline. Yeah, maybe we just uh, maybe we just play the dragon golems here. 
Set up for maybe an Alex to connect face. Yeah. Cool with that. Literally three dragons in hand, so make four of these. <sighs> yeah. Um by hero power I kinda have to like waste a coin or something. Pretty hard to play anything. I think we just chill, right? Okay. Don't have uh, scale of Onyxia. Oh, bro, these Kazakasans. We've seen another one here. This is pretty slow, though. If I can train in my Tutu and just hit face for Alex, like, they may be dead. Do they have any way to deal with all this? Or I guess they can just kill a 3 4 usually, so I don't even need to trade in. But, you know. Need space, whatever the point. Maybe we should have been running Alex. This felt pretty good. I need to not hit a dream portal, maybe. Cause I have 15 on five, three attack guys. So I hit a dream portal. I guess I have enough anyway. Nice, dude. I bring life and Let's go. Nice, dude. Nice. Woo! I feel like we were outmatched these last two games and we're still getting there, dude. Randomly generated Alex draws us for the win, man. <laughs> Crazy. Um, yeah, probably mutating is the most interesting generally. This is a little too risky, I think. As we've seen with Wish, it's not very good. <laughs> Wish sucks. That's a good bucket, but we don't need it. All right. Uh, I mean, Shard has been nuts, but we got to find good early ramp and early dragons, I think, first and foremost. Spite Lash is good if, or Spite Lash, Splish Splash. <laughs> splish Splash, he was taking a bath. Yeah, Dragon Blood Endurance Training definitely seems like the more common uh, pairing. We, we seem to have the rare pairing with Draconic Dream. Is it, is it, is it the more rare one? I don't think we've played a single Druid with it yet, right? It's all been this. Or uh, that Dormant one. <clears throat> all right. That's pretty good for the dragon golem, yeah. Nice. That is good tempo too, yeah. I love that the Reyes Raza is, is just fuel for this guy. It's all she does. She just makes your dragon golem better. And you know what? She's great at it. That's all she needs to be. I have about a 9-9. Nine -nine. I guess we could sometimes play out of desperation, but not often. Yeah, another Dragon Druid. I mean, it's literally every game is against Dragon Druid, right? It's crazy. They gotta they gotta they gotta balance patch this. I don't even know what you do though. Just ban some of the dragons or something? Like ban Dragon Golem or something? I guess that would do it. Oh my god. Just play the Dragon Golem now. Oh, I guess we're gonna be five, not quite. Going for the Matron. Using the Rehydrate here to get a little bonus uh, mana is cool because it costs one and they got two back. That's pretty fun. I like that play. Uh... Oh, baby. Well, actually, we can't save the... T I mean, we can play both, to be honest. Just for, like, crazy tempo. Do we just play both for two five fours? I was gonna maybe play the Banker. Maybe we just play both. I think we just go. This is an insane amount of pressure. Right, it's a monster board. Now, they have their... Well, we I guess we know they have at least one Spine Tails. They can answer the 6-5. Uh, oh, that too. That is also a monster boy. This boy's pretty good though. Oh, this math is getting clunky though. Ugh, still very good. Like, do we play our own? It's gonna be really bad. Next turn's a problem. Uh. Yeah, I mean, this is clearly not ideal. I like that this two for ones. Dude, these dragon golems. This is a crazy card. 
I, I can't I honestly it, it really does it surprises me it got printed this this good but it's standard it's good but I like I mean it's, it's pretty dang good standard too but in duels it seems nuts with all these discounts and stuff it's just crazy strong uh I mean we can play our own next turn but ours are just not buffed so tiny little baby boys here these are these are monster buffed off the uh dragon blood which again an insane enabler that's a six eight all right guys i think our time here is done <laughs> i think we're cooked i think our goose hath been cooked i think they've got the dream here <sighs> steel beetle okay i mean it's big maybe this shouldn't say summon a copy too maybe this could just say oh my god their deck is densely packed with insane cards maybe this should say summon a dragon golem you know the, the classic uh serenite chain gang uh, nerf oh my god look at this turn dude they still have three mana left this was a five mana turn they played the 4-5, the 6-8, the 4-6, the 8-10, the, well, you know, part of that's the mutating injection. Like, my god, dude. Am I dead if I do this? I don't think I can play the Fi, right? Mine's not cheap enough yet. This only summons one, though. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, I think we just lose, right? It was just super dead on board. This is not even close. Oh, actually, I can play the Fi with a double Nest Matron, yeah. Oh, this is actually pretty insane. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of crazy good. Um, can I get, like, a Shard, maybe? Oh, I can't play both that and that, though. I'm not holding a spell that costs five or more, so we probably gotta play Fi plus Hitchman. I mean, I think it's technically enough to stay alive, maybe. But only barely. I need to top deck Adara, and I have a tiny, tiny glimmer of hope here. I need actually like <laughs> triple Dream Portal Fi, and then Adara. Oh, come on, bro. Book of the Dead to, oh my God. Forget it, we didn't have a chance. They have the actual giga consistent start there. Actually, I mean, look, that is so insane. Adorable thanks to the prime sub still a nuts run for us though guys first run of the expansion man I can't complain nine wins is a fantastic result. I think our deck kind of petered out a little bit at the end um, Compared to like what we just saw but still really nice bugged out All right Yep, that's what I thought sounds about dry. Oh, of course <laughs> Splish splash wealth number 607 great